Hi, my name is Taryn Smith. I'm here at Jerry's Music Shop in South Hadley, Massachusetts, here today to talk to you about articulation on the trumpet. Now, when we play our instrument, when we create any new sound, we have to start that sound in a clear way. And the way that we do that is by using our tongue, by using the syllable ta, okay? So when we have a good sound on our instrument, when we have our long tones really, really well established, it's possible that you hadn't been starting it with your tongue to start. It's possible that you were just blowing air through, creating a sound, and that's, and that's how it came out. It may have been like this. Okay, but did you notice that the beginning of the sound wasn't very clear? Now listen to this. It was a very clear beginning to the sound, and that's because I used my tongue to start the sound. I said t or ta, okay? So let's go about like we're gonna just play a long tone on whatever note comes out. I'm gonna play it on a G, just because it's in the middle. And I want you to take a nice deep breath from the corners of your mouth, and I would like you to t just start the air with your tongue. If it sounds a bit harsh to start, that is okay. That just means that your tongue is really actively engaged and it's hitting it a bit hard. The most important thing is that we are starting the sound with our tongue. We can work on controlling that sound later down the road. Now, what I'm going to demonstrate is one steady stream of air and I'm just simply going to interrupt the air stream with my tongue. So if you picture a water faucet, okay, the water comes down out of the faucet it's one steady stream of air once you've turned it on, or water in the faucet's case. And if we were to run our finger through that water stream, that would be as if our tongue is just interrupting it. Notice the water is still coming out of the fountain. Okay, so have that visualization. Let's just play a long tone, whatever note comes out. Use your tongue to start. Make a few tongue articulation sounds. time quite yet. Just experiment with that. Try that one more time. Now what I'd like you to try and do is play two whole notes, starting each whole note with your tongue. Then we're going to take a rest for four beats, and then we're going to play four, uh, four half notes. Again, each note is starting with our tongue, okay? Now notice each time we play, it's going to be two measures worth of time in 4-4 four, four time. Here we go. Rest, rest, half note. Now notice I only took a breath during my four beats of rest. I did not have to take a breath in between every individual note. This is what we want to avoid. I always like to give non-examples so that we know what it looks like and sounds like to do something improperly. This is what we do not want. Notice I had to inhale and then start the note again, and it really was not a smooth sound because we kept on interrupting the sound by inhaling and then exhaling again. So I would like you to practice using your tongue, come up with different patterns, different rhythms. Um, you can even try and play along with a drum rhythm or make up your own rhythms in your head, something like this. do as long as your air is steady. It is unbroken except for that moment that the tongue interrupts it and it is one beautiful sound starting each pitch with your tongue. 